Welcome all to Face Practice Vlog Informal. This channel showcases the music that I play on a frequent basis without rehearsal, backing tracks, or editing, using basic grade capture equipment that unfortunately distorts the audio and delivers unpredictable quality on the video. I invite bassists to leave me links to any videos of their own that they likewise uploaded on a cheap webcam, no audio interface, no rehearsal, backing tracks, or editing, so that I can feature the links to your videos on my videos and on my channel page. If anyone can successfully teach me how actually to post videos from other uploaders, I will gleefully feature other bassists' own videos directly on this channel, too, as long as they meet the production quality limitations listed above. Limited exceptions will be made. I just don't want anybody, you know, wasting this channel using, oh, um, uploading videos that will get heavy rotation on their own. That's the only thing. It's like, why would you even bother if you know that your video is going to get high rotation, high exposure on its own? This is just sort of to consolidate more of this type of um, capture so that it'll be on one place where everybody who's doing it can look at it at one time. Or it'll all come up on the same page, so it, the it's, the appropriate attention will be concentrated towards it. And that can enable it to expand and eventually finally compete with the more sophisticated uploads. This isn't about people who don't play well. This is about people who don't have good equipment and don't want to be distracted trying to save up for it, purchase it, set it all up. Now, people who actually also don't necessarily play very well are also welcome here. Beginners and intermediates are welcome here. Um, basically, as long as you understand that it takes a lot of effort to try to get better and that you are trying to be on a course toward improvement. Uh, this would exclude very few people. I believe it would be only people who who just started recently and they think that in another two months they're going to be on a stage, whereas in reality probably in another two weeks they're just going to give up. Resuming, um, a third option I want to remind everyone is that for anybody else who's a bassist who's not into the audio interface or an expensive webcam or any of the the fancy preparation where the, the video production starts to eclipse the actual performance of your music. That's what I'm talking about when I say rehearsal. I'm not talking about the fact you're sitting there practicing on, on your bass. Uh, the difference between that and rehearsal is rehearsal is very structured. And you um, are trying to nail a piece till it's perfect before you um, recite it for capture. And if you make one mistake, you're going to start over on a new take. See, that's the, what, the, the type of rehearsal I'm trying to not have on this channel. Because that is where the, the production of the video starts eclipsing the actual music itself. It's uh, the, the first few times you play it, or if you're drilling, you know that it, you're drilling to the point where it's improving and when it's starting to, to backslide, then it's when you might say, well, I'll resume this drill when it becomes productive again. But if you're just playing the same song directly over and over again from the beginning until you think you're going to get it with no mistakes all the way through, by the time you finally do that, it's going to be very starched and stiff and trepid because all you're worried about is avoiding mistakes. It's a negative. See, and, and that's I want your essence to pour through when you're playing spontaneously. You know, people who have done this know what I'm talking about. It's not some contrived uh, uh, 
foolish uh, co 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 concept. And you know you get your peak when you're just sitting there practicing and you wish you had put the webcam on to capture before you started to play. Well, the only thing you're going to have to improve to get from where you are to doing that is just to punch up your webcam app and set it to video and tap the video icon and wait for it to load and start to record. And, you know, I, I another thing is you might not, even though you're not going to be literally rehearsing, you might want to do a warm-up take, might be 15 minutes or something before you get up to speed. That is still is not rehearsing. You obviously don't want to put up one where you're still groping or trying to find your your speed or whatever. So then you start with another take and you're already warmed up, so that's going to be decent from the beginning. And that's the one that's perfectly okay to put up. You don't have to nail any pieces. You don't have to nail any riffs before you start putting it up. There could be a lot of looping. could be a lot of drilling. But in the meantime, there will be, there will be sections where you shine. And if you go through any more trouble than that, like to isolate just those, you're already becoming a video producer instead of just somebody who's doing their nightly practice. And I don't want anybody at this point in development to be overextending their attention or their involvement in the process anywhere, be any further beyond just practicing than what it would take, just like I said, to punch up your video app, set it, I mean, punch up your camera app, set it to video wait for it to load, and then start practicing. And maybe do one warm-up take that you discard, and then the next one is ready to... good enough to upload on here. If you try to put up an upload that's, that's made like this, it's going to be competing with people who have mastered the ability to do, you know, just play it cold on the fifth take. And then they edit it, and they probably have much better gear that doesn't distort audio interface, backing track. So that's all overhead. I'm looking for people who are just playing their bass, and they're not invested in all of this process. So like I'm saying, here's what I was trying to say, is if you can teach me how to upload somebody else's, your work, if you can teach me to upload your work on my channel, that would be a brilliant enhancement to my channel to have a variety of musicians accessible all on this channel. Now, that might not be feasible. I've tried learning how to upload other people's videos before without any success ever. So I'm going to also try to tell people who want to do this, if you're uploading to my channel, or if you're just contemplating it, the perfect alternative is just to start your own channel that follows these same protocols, where it's just the playing. And it can be spontaneous playing. You don't have to pinch yourself in a mold to try, try to nail it cold one time, <laughs> get 100 takes to get it clean all the way through even once. And by that time, it's going to be very tortured playing. Not to mention making you a wreck by that time. Um, or, or, or that you're going to be screwing around, struggling with um, editing after you have uploaded it. See, I just want to make this a minimum effort for uploading and a maximum effort for how you reach your highest uh, performance point on your performance curve while you're actually doing the playing. And like I said, that, that's what you could do is just start your own channel and put your own version of these protocols up. You might have slightly different um, opinions about what constitutes low production effort than I did. You might be stricter and say, well, no, I'm going to, I don't know, 
I think might, might be the most conservative possible. But you might, like, want to uh, let somebody use a better webcam, for example. I think my webcam might just be inferior in general, even though it's a popular model. But most uploads, most videos I see online, just they don't have the same variability in the performance. Um, most of them, probably they can control zooming. It, the other webcams I see are never out of focus. This one is frequently out of focus, and the resolution often drops well below its nominal stated value of 750p. And of course, like um, the audio on my webcam, this is the native webcam on the computer. That one is a joke for um, bass capture, but it is uh, better for singing. But it, it, I'm not going to use it for bass. It's just terrible for bass. Anyway, this video obviously has gotten quite long. I might have to uh, do a shorter version of this later. But what I wanted to do was to get up at least one video where I explain the functional concept of this channel. And like, it's a fairly rough cut. Probably have to refine it later since this is the flagship video where I explain. I should make this my channel trailer for tonight if I can if I can figure out how to do that. Like I said, I'm not highly invested in, at least as of yet, since I am a YouTube uploader, I should be at least somewhat interested in mastering the process. I'm still not that acquainted with how to do various things, either on a video or on the for a channel trailer or the channel page. So this is the end of my uh, video, if it's a channel trailer or elsewhere, for tonight. I thank you all for listening. Good night.